This episode of Emergency Intercom is brought to you by Daily Harvest. All right, so, I mean, in this episode, we already talk about it, um, how badly we want to start cooking our own meals um, in 2024, and it seems like an impossibly hard, daunting task that, like, neither me or Inya can, like, overcome. Like, in my head, I feel like going and buying all the groceries is more expensive than just ordering out, and then on top of that, like, time spent cooking is just not worth it to me. But that's where Daily Harvest steps in. Daily Harvest makes it easy for me to meet my goals and stick to them. They take the planning, the prep, the cleanup out of cooking by delivering my favorite veggies and fruit-packed meals straight to my door. With Daily Harvest, I'm getting tons of plant-based options built on organic fruits and vegetables that are easy to prep and free of gluten fillers, seed oils, added sugars, and starches. It really takes the guesswork and effort out of eating food I know is good for me. Usually keeping healthy habits means the same old boring meals, but not with Daily Harvest. They've got so many great options for any time of the day, which means sticking to healthy habits is a breeze. My favorite has to be the herb squash and asparagus risotto. Big risotto guy over here. I love risotto. By using only recyclable and compostable packaging when possible, Daily Harvest is doing their part to take care of the earth, which helps limit any waste and makes you feel even better about yourself. Say yes to healthy habits without the hassle with Daily Harvest. Go to dailyharvest.com slash emergency to get up to 65% off your first box plus free shipping for a limited time only. That's dailyharvest.com slash emergency for up to $65 off your first box plus free shipping. Dailyharvest.com slash emergency. This episode of Emergency Intercom is sponsored by ZocDoc. Everybody knows I've been saying I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick. Last time I was sick, which was not that long ago, I was in LA and I needed a doctor fast. Well, now I'm in Miami and I need a doctor fast, but I don't know any doctors here. But that's not a problem because I have ZocDoc on my phone wherever I go and it makes it quick and easy to find a doctor that is reliable and patient reviewed and I know will take care of me. We all know there are things in life you have to compromise on like an apartment that's in your budget. Should I get this sweater? I already have a sweater that looks like it. Should I get a music machine? I know I'm not going to use it. Even though I like to make noise, I have my mouth, which is free. But there are some things that have no compromise. And that one thing is your health. Instead of taking a compromise on your health and walking into a random building and being scared, check out ZocDoc, the place where you can find and book doctors who will make you feel comfortable, listen to you, and prioritize your health. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Go to ZocDoc.com slash intercom and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc.com slash intercom. ZocDoc dot com slash intercom welcome to this episode of emergency intercom help we're stuck in the computer <laughs> we're trapped and i don't know when we're leaving stuck in the computer i can't get it out of my head did that peak yeah yours is it sounded good though it sounded good hi guys hey hi drew did i realize what i was just gonna say we've like (laughs) recorded so much this week i feel insane good you should you should feel overworked and burnt out right at the first week of the new year that's what the new year is about it's about getting all those resolutions and scaring yourself into the change that you think is not believable and then uh backing out and going back to your normal habits Mm -hmm. because life isn't about hustle Mm -hmm. life is about being normal and i feel so sick too wait did you get sick again too i don't think i'm sick i don't know why i feel like this but i just feel like so like foggy headed it's because you don't have me around. Mm-hmm. I literally is. I've withdrawn. Like I'm in like the late stages of withdrawal. 
Um, it's called postpartum depression disorder, actually. <laughs> Wait, what? Are you claiming you gave birth to me or? Mm -hmm. No, no, it's called pause. P-A-W-S. It's the late stage of withdrawals um, when it's just strictly mental and not physical. Pogs? Wait. Did you say pogs? Pogs. Poggers. No, P-A-W-S. Oh, oh, I also oh, thought bad. you said pog, and I was like, oh, my God, thank you. Oh. Poggers. Pog. What oh, does pog is, stand for? Is, fat and white so, girl? What, it's what fat pogs? ass white girls. Oh, oh, okay. oh, I thought it was like poggers in the chat. Like, let me drop some pogs down below. Yeah, I think. No, me and guys' mind things. was elsewhere. Yeah. Um. Well, no. No. Well, I thought we could come into this episode and maybe chat about our new year's resolutions our ins and outs um i didn't write in any ins and outs and i told kai and inya too so they could do the heavy lifting but i did write my resolutions down um and i feel like if anybody wants to go first they can or i can go ahead and start it Start with your resolution because I have a thing of ins and outs that is like pretty obnoxious and weirdly like long question mark. Perfect. No, that's perfect. Okay. Then I'll start with my resolutions. Um, okay. My first one, I've been saying this a bunch recently, but like a full blown do dopamine detox. Like I want all the devices out of my life, like kale phone. I don't want to use it. I fully want to like just have everything out of my life that like gives me any dopamine so I can like go back to baseline because I think I'm functioning like above baseline and it's really scary when I even dip below where I'm at now when I'm like at normal baseline of dopamine levels I don't know how to describe it so basically you I want to do Mr. Beast's last challenge when he locked himself in a room for 100 days did you watch that no but that's literally what I wanted I haven't watched any Mr. Beast videos because I was like oh I want to watch him with everybody when we get back um but it I think seems everybody's like watched them because on my account without me the Mr. Beast video was already watched so that means somebody tv already watched it at our house damn so. it was also josh. josiah does not wait for us to watch josh and josiah they don't wait every time i'm like oh should we watch this they're like i've seen it already like i, I genuinely so think they have notifications on and they see it immediately it's so oppy behavior like it's not chill it's not chill like well i did do that to you a couple times actually i did it <laughs> with um Poor Things, which is the most insane movie I've ever seen, like in a good way. Like I literally, I loved that movie. Like if I, I haven't seen Barbie and I will never see Barbie, but that's what I assume Barbie, Barbie is. is about. <laughs> yeah, like I feel like it's, it's the same. It's adult Barbie. Yeah, literally. Like I feel like it's in the same wheelhouse. Um, wait, 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 wait. What Wonka is this too. mug? Huh? Kai's drinking out of what is that mug? Wait, what? It says main character energy. Oh my god! How do we boot him? No, uh, you we'll can't. Show. There's no. Where'd you get that? Character. Okay, if so you want to be the main my... character. Yeah, I literally am. Uh, this is my room. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Since you want to be the main character so damn bad, and you too. Kai, take it back. I take it back. I'm not the main character. You guys are okay. the main characters. Thank you, thank you. Drew, I'm please just come everything back. Everything is in its place. Drew, come back and make Wait, sure I you place your box. I actually don't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, actually, oh, here we go. All right, we're good. <laughs> make we're sure back. to put yourself back above Kai where you belong. Oh yeah, I gotta mm -hmm. put True. Drew on top of me. True. Hey. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> um, damn. Oh That's my god, Kai turns thirty this year. No, I actually don't. You know what's crazy is I've been lying to you guys because I just I wanted there to be like a mystery. Like, oh. And then I reveal oh, at, yeah. at 29 at my birthday, I'm like, I'm actually like a, a cool age, like 24. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Well, I saw a comment that horrified me <laughs> and it was talking about our last episode with Hamza and Martin. And the comment was like, OMG, this is like millennial versus Gen Z. And I was like, 
who are they calling millennial? Because I know damn well it's not me. <laughs> and then the bio said, oh, like Drew and Inya just give millennial vibes. And I was like, I went to the comments to see if anybody was talking about it. And everyone was like, yeah, no, I fully understand that. Like Drew and Inya are so millennial coded. And I was like, <laughs> you guys are. I was like, I was actually hurt to my heart. Like I didn't invent Gen Z, but I didn't actually invent Gen Z, but like. <laughs> it freaked me out well for that episode I, it was crazy because i'm kind of like the baby of the group so i felt at home with kai is so baby with martin and Hans. say your baby say with, I'm baby. why'd I'm you baby. say his name like that martin martin because i'm a he baby because <laughs> i'm a baby i'm still learning i he will say i do speak. think like as like like unintelligent as a lot of our humor is i understand why people say we're millennial core like we are kind of so old head. Like all we do is talk about like young people, adore <laughs> like. And that is so true, actually. <laughs> Ew, is that your millennial pause? Yeah, I, I, I literally, it is so foreign to me that I can't even act it. Like, and I'm like a world class actor, and I just like I can't even act millennial because it's such like it's then not. That, in made, my that DNA. might make you not a world class actor because that might be one of the easiest roles to take on. Oh, doggo galaxy, uh, <laughs> donate a da- donate a galaxy to me. Fuck, that's so Gen Z, actually. Sorry, like I know like, that galaxy. is that is millennial core as fuck. Because when I think of that, I think of Jeffrey Star, Jason Nash, who actually I think might be the silent age. What is it? The people who went through war. The silent <laughs> age is like eighty year olds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The it's silent that, age, like the people that were sure. locked away. I'm pretty sure that the refers people to like you're so old you can't even speak. It's like you're locked away in like old people homes. Yeah, that's, that's Jason Island Nash. Age. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jason um, Nash almost hit me in his uh Tesla one time in Studio City. I wish Man, he did. That's so lit. you wish he hit me, you wish he hit me and I died. Uh yeah, because then we would have taken him to small claims court. Hello. Okay. That is a big claim, actually. <laughs> oh my god. I meant financially bro okay okay because okay. you're so important to me okay oh uh, okay that's but that car would have been dented heavily. i don't know if his prius would have um... it would have been totaled. <laughs> that's what i'm saying i don't know if his prius would have filed <laughs> under <laughs> large claim I, I saw i saw someone talking about how prius owners are the bravest people on this <laughs> planet because they time and time again prove that they have the thickest skin of any person on this planet because they are just constantly berated for owning a prius yet they still drive it and all i thought about was how brave kai is he's a brave soul you're a brave soul i'm brave for a lot of reasons guys oh also name, just name a couple name more. The most. um i'm like a martyr in a lot of ways i feel like yeah you know what i mean a martyr of what cause? Straight white men. Yeah, straight uh, white guys. Love women. Yeah. yeah That's true. We do need more of those. Pussy. Oh, also, this Ew. mug belongs to my new roommate, by the way. Very Do you have a TikTok mug? Yes. He makes TikToks, Damn. and it's a mystery who it is, but you've seen him. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, is have I seen him before? Maybe. You I don't know. Oh, it's probably Vinny Hacker. Shh. I wanted it to be a mystery. What the fuck? Well, I just He's don't believe in mysteries. In. Yeah. Oh so anyway, spread that around. Vinny Hacker and Kai Backshots Newman now live together in Silver Lake. In LA. That's you your, your name, name to Kai Backshots Newman. <laughs> that's what people call me. That's just my natural nickname as of. Dude, that you might find that that's ago. not like a cool nickname. They might be making fun of you. Yeah, no. Literally. Like it's not like a nickname. Uh, like you're giving the backshots. Like people give you backshots. That's Man? fine. That's okay. I don't have an issue with that. I just don't Bottom think that's erasure. like good. Drew, I don't have an issue with that. Do <laughs> Bottom I? erasure. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but okay. Wait, New Year's. I, I'm reading back my notes for my second one. Okay. So I was thinking, so you know how like I wanted to make my blind box toys or whatever? Yeah. Well, I saw the market for the rose toy and I was like, oh, wow, there's like a big like market for this shit. So I was like, oh, I'm going to make them vibrate. And like have like clitoral suckers and shit in them. So it's going to be like a blind box, but with like a vibrator. Um, and it's in like characters like silhouette. Um, I don't think that's going to do as well as you think. Wait, uh, are sex toys recession proof? Yes. I think yeah. they go yeah. up in value. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have to be recession proof because people are like desperate for like a dopamine hit. So like, yeah. 
Damn, we should all get in that business. Like, what are we doing? All the celebrities making alcohol and shit, which I think is kind of recession proof because people you need alcohol alcohol. to survive a recession. A recession. (laughs) (laughs) A recession. (laughs) Um, but yeah, we need more celebrities dropping sex toys. Like, that's what we need. Yeah, we need um. You tried blind box toys. (laughs) No, we don't. What What are your other resolutions? um lose 45 pounds um okay so i think if you lose 45 pounds you may pass away (laughs) yeah you're gonna become (laughs) two-dimensional dude that's like i keep telling everybody um i'm I'm like guys i'm like guys my goal this year is to weigh 83 pounds like that's that's my goal i'm gonna hit the gym i'm really gonna hit if i weighed 83 pounds i would die i'd be in hospice yeah, like... that's unhealthy that is scary no I but my go actual for a goal is to gain slip into the drain you know like the drain grate yeah yeah i'm gonna <laughs> slip into that and be swept away y'all remember when rihanna walked over the drain in heels yeah that's what i want to do I, that's one of my resolutions you want your body to be the heel or you want to walk over greats with heels i want to walk year? over greats and heels this year um, i want to be no, so but my real... that when i'm running on the treadmill i get sucked into the thing like i fall but oh, instead yeah, of falling yeah. off i'm so you thin that i get caught around. in the like revolver you know liquid cats that's my goal this year is to break all the bones in my body so i can fit inside of any vase <laughs> i want or bowl <laughs> um no okay, so my we real got some goal good body goals going this yeah year. <laughs> my real one is to like gain a bunch of weight i want to be like a burly man like i want to be nasty and big and strong i just want to be able to run for like 30 minutes straight oh that's a so good that one. when the killer comes after me i will be getting yeah. away <laughs> when the nuke drops <laughs> you can outrun, I can outrun it yeah i'm gonna be the first women to, uh women i'm gonna be the first woman to outrun the san andreas uh fault line shattering this year yeah like the I second the earthquake starts i'm gonna run away did you see that iceland is like literally splitting in a half yeah and we need to go i know we need to go now Ooh, wait are yeah. you done with your resolutions because i have really important ins and outs i have one more um oh, and then i also and have, to, I have a couple too so Oh, okay it's your resolution more it's, porn and it's and gonna then... no, if it's, it's gonna real, real it's gonna be the longest year. resolution list i've ever heard in my life because you're nearing the long. end and you have so much to do <laughs> well whenever you guys let me no, be on no, an no, episode no. with the camera i take full advantage of it so my ends and outs <laughs> i mean you are well. the main character <laughs> you okay. are the main character um hey, hey um okay wait is that an emma uh, emma isn't her podcast called the main character podcast? No, this is just a TikTok one. I don't know. Oh, maybe uh, it's the same font, I guess. Is it really? Yeah, it looks like the exact same font. Oh, as it I actually King. don't know the name of it. Um, okay, my last one is just two camping trips or like two retreats oh. to nature. Like I need to or I want to go to like Canada and do that road trip up in Canada across Canada. I'm super down for that. Yeah, that I sounds... bet Tavia. If we literally told Tavia right now, she would. She probably already has one fucking plan for this year. Yeah, and we can just tag along and write it in the wheel well. I'll sleep in the bathroom. <laughs> I love the bathroom. Write in the wheel well. It's so funny. <laughs> well, after um, I lose that forty pounds, I'm gonna be small enough. <laughs> She'll just put you in her Stanley Cup. I'll be a mud flap for the car. <laughs> um all right well kai are you gonna go or should i start my ins and outs oh yeah i want to drink alone more i drink alone a lot but i want to drink alone more like how often drew please come back what the fuck i feel like i I just don't support this drew when friends say that you're supposed to show up for them not disappear (laughs) yeah that was the way i came back immediately (laughs) like i came back before you even said drew come back okay so you guys want me to do like real ones you want me to be earnest no no do it do whatever you want i want to be less i want to have more self-confidence do you actually like feel like you lack a lot of self-confidence i do a lot yeah like it i feel like it was you're literally hot so Stop. I need to lose some confidence. Look, you look at that smile. You're literally Stop. hot. I'm serious. Well, it's because you're rizzing me up and I'm getting wet and I'm creating male snail trails. Okay. Uh, let me see. What's another thing? Oh, 
yeah, I want to be more self-confident. I I'm a little bit afraid of everything. And then, um, I want to get 10,000 steps a day. I want to be a like, good one. I want just to be go to Disney every LA. day. Yeah, exactly. I want to be walking around LA and people just be like, Oh my God. Like, that guy he's gets guy so many walks. steps. He's lost so much weight. He probably. I see that. Guy. No, they're gonna be like, "Oh my god, I see that guy walking around every day. He must not have a car." He's the killer. <laughs> no, um, Kai, back to your self confidence one. Mm-hmm. Um, like a little bit of advice. Oh. Um, is um, <laughs> like if you want to be more self confident, like okay. just be more confident. You know. That's what I was gonna say. Smile more often. Mm-hmm. Okay. Make people just make people um like find you attractive which i guess i don't sure how do you do that because i just kind of like when i show up it happens yeah I'm that's you. like not really i'm you oh yes. whoa <laughs> it's already working <laughs> Oh my god! I actually you immediately, smile with your eyes. you immediately look like somebody yanked your face back with face tape. Okay, genuine question: Should I just do this like ten percent all the time? Um. No. 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 Okay. No. I don't. I, I think don't like you... how good you are at it. <laughs> also, your <laughs> eyes like cross a little bit. <laughs> Wait, can I do that? I'm fluffy. Ew. What? Your hair is looking so fluffy today. Oh, wow. Thank you. It's because I just washed no, the, it. The, the fluffy thing. The Ew. what? Our goat. What? You know our goat. We laid in bed together crying, laughing at his TikToks. Oh, I don't know what you're Andrew Curtis. To. Dude, I don't, you know, I don't know what the clip. that move is. Win streak. Your hair looks very bouncy. He's on live stream and someone says, oh, your hair is looking really fluffy today. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> i can't do that though what did you do he's like he's literally oh, Ew. wait do i do it no wait you can't do it <laughs> you kind of look like you're fainting drew <laughs> but yeah those were my real those were my real resolutions um i don't more I didn't write any resolutions wait is that it yeah, and I do want to drink alone. That that one was kind of real too. I want to like be on my Jack Kerouac shit. Who the fuck um, is that? You might find that that's a slippery slope. Yeah, yeah. I want to be in more. I, I want to be... be in more slippery slopes this year. Oh, that's a good idea. Besides, Get a cat. Get a cat. I'm thinking about it. Actually, I do want. There's a there's one at my new apartment that his name's Marty, and he's always like trying to get in. And I'm like, maybe that's just my cat now, you know? Damn, yeah. Wait, oh, is it like an outside cat? Yeah, yeah. Well, his his uh his owners like fucking hate him. Like it'll be pouring oh. rain and they'll put him outside. That's so evil. So you can't maybe do that he's to a daddy's cat. cat now. Maybe he's daddy's cat now. No, he's PETA's cat. You need to call fucking animal services if they're putting that shit out on the street when it's raining. Yeah, um, I know. The cat distribution sh- uh, system is <laughs> literally targeting you. This episode is sponsored by Daily Harvest. Funny enough, I was just saying how one of my resolutions is to eat at home, and that just means eating healthier. I think naturally when you're eating at home, you just eat healthier, but that's not saying no to flavor and no to snacking and no to foods that you love, but you're just going to make some good healthy habits with Daily Harvest. Daily Harvest makes it easy to meet my goals and stick with them. They take the planning, prep, and cleanup out of cooking by delivering my favorite veggie and fruit packed meals straight to my door. No more going to the grocery store and getting sidetracked because I see a bunch of stuff that I swear I'm gonna cook and then it just goes bad and then I feel awful. By using only recyclable and compostable packing when possible, Daily Harvest is also doing their part to take care of our earth, which helps me limit my waste and feel good. Something I really suffer with because again, Again, I just have such hard time sticking to what I'm going to cook, but something like Daily Harvest will make sure that I get what I need and I use it. One of my favorite meals from them is the butternut squash and rosemary soup. When it's cold out, I just feel like I need a soup. That's what the universe intended for me as a human is to sit and have soup when it's cold to warm my body. Say yes to healthy habits without the hassle with Daily Harvest. Go to dailyharvest.com slash emergency to get up to $65 off your first box and free shipping for a limited time only. So listen close. 
That was dailyharvest.com slash emergency for up to $65 off your first box and free shipping. Dailyharvest.com slash emergency. Go and get your meals. This episode of Emergency Intercom is brought to you by ZocDoc. Have you ever been on the hunt for a new doctor and you ask all your friends for their recommendations and nothing really seems to fit because you want a doctor that actually gets you and listens to you and makes you feel comfortable. Then after finally searching, you find the one, but then you're on a call with the receptionist and they say, they don't take your insurance. It is the worst, worst feeling in the world, but that's where ZocDoc comes in. ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about appointments with thousands of top-rated patient-reviewed doctors and specialists. You can specifically filter for the ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat almost every condition under the sun. These doctors have verified reviews from actual real patients, and it's great because the average wait time to see your ZocDoc doctor is 24 to 48 hours. You can even book same-day appointments. It's super easy. Just book them immediately with just a few taps. No more waiting awkwardly on hold with a receptionist. Go to ZocDoc.com slash intercom and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book top-rated doctors today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash intercom. ZocDoc.com slash intercom. Okay, well, here are my ins and outs. I don't have any resolutions. I do actually, all of my resolutions are like health-wise though. Like I want to, I want to shop less. Which isn't a health thing. It's just like a financial thing. Drew, you look like frozen. Oh, because I'm serving. Mm. No, I'm not frozen. I'm serving. That's like not a good. I'm like... serving like a hungry man, like <laughs> uh, lean cuisine right now. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. I was like playing off of like the frozen thing. Like I'm like a frozen. <laughs> I'm a meal best. You're like a frozen. frozen. No, but a lean cuisine is it best served frozen? You like heat it up. What is like? I'm like giving ice cream right now. (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck? Dude, maybe we are millennial coded because that was like insane. Okay. Um, I want to shop less. I do want to go running, which is at the gym four times a week because I do want to learn how to run. For what? I don't know. Like, I just feel like being able to run really fast and far away from people really quickly is kind of a flex. Like, that's a vibe for sure. Like, that's that's just a vibe. And then, um, wait, I want to eat out less. Eat out me? No, I want to eat less coochie this year because I feel like last year I did get kind of carried away. And then there was a lot. I say you can't stop eating me out, bro. No, you're you're always on the menu, bay. Yeah. Okay. But what was the one before that? Eating less coochie? No, 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 no. Like you're, I said you're... I want to shop less, oh. run more. Run. Okay, well, I had a joke, but I lost it, so. Okay, and then I want to eat, like, I want to cook more this year because I don't cook myself meals, and that's, like, kind of sad. But, like, also, I don't believe in I'm women with cooking anymore. I'm with you on anymore. that, Anya. Yeah, like, um... I want to learn how to actually cook. Like, I'm about to, like, binge watch, like, Father Kells' Sydney Carlson cooking. Yeah, no, I'm, like, 100% with you on that just because, like, the amount of money I spend on food is, like, horrifying. But then I always have that conundrum where I'm, like, bro, like, if I buy the food, the ingredients to make it, like, it costs four times the amount if I just ordered it. So I might as well just order it. But then I'm not thinking properly where you buy, like five chickens or whatever, chicken fillets, and then you make five different chicken meals. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Bitch, want to call me a millennial? Okay, well, I'm getting a tattoo. And I'm going to get Fortnite across my forehead right here. I would bro, stand Fortnite's by the dead. Fortnite. No, it Fortnite's is not. Bro, dead. Yeah, it fell the fuck off, bro. Don't talk about that shit like that. Yeah, Fortnite fell off. Okay, well, here are my ins and outs. It's pretty lengthy. I almost posted oh it, but I held it back. Here are my 2024 predictions. In letting your phone die at night and waking up scared because you don't know what time it is. Mm. That's a good vibe to me. In not wearing underwear, not in a sexy way, but just because it is a scam to keep buying underwear and I do not want to. Just wear the same pair every single day like I do. I'm not washing my underwear. Dude, your skin marks are so layered. I feel like I could chip it off and it'd look like tree bark. 
pretty yeah, well. I was gonna say like um there's like nah, I'm not gonna say that. That's gross. I'm just so horny all the time. I'm making pre cum that there's like a layer of pre cum like at the base of my penis. Yeah, when you which think you're as a bulge, it's like um Elmer's glue when you roll it up into a ball. <laughs> um standing outside with your arms crossed, staring at the sky and street, specifically when you spent all day inside. Mm. Oh wait, so that's one of mine. Oh, wait, you you go ahead. Oh, I, was I was just going to say, like, I, like, am really into standing on the porch recently, which I did a lot last year. Like, I was they were on to the something with that. Old like, people are on to something. No, old that. people, we literally need to get chairs for out front and just sit there. Yeah. Just sit and they stare. Ate. They ate. No, like, my vibe was, like, I was walking to Madeline and Steven's house from my parents' house. And this is an end for me. Is like when you're walking like outside, just like look up at the sky. It's like really disorienting and borderline like it gets you high. And I was having like an almost euphoric experience looking at the clouds change. And we need to bring back like pointing shapes out of the clouds. Like, oh, that looks like an elephant. Like that's in for me. <laughs> sometimes Damn, fuck y'all. Sometimes you sound you sound like you've been sober for a long time. Because anything that brings you a little joy, you're like, it's almost like being high. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, try it. Like, I'm just high on life now. Yeah, I do agree. Um, Not doing shit you don't want to. Simply say, I just don't want to do that. No, I'm okay. Thank you. Or please stop bothering me. <laughs> Did you hear that? Are you okay? Enya, are you okay? Enya, your voice sounds. Oh my god, crazy. I think I'm in hell. I literally think I'm in hell, and Enya has been a succubus demon that has been stalking me my whole life. What? No, because she sounds like a male. Like, it sounds like a man's voice, right? It sounds like she's speaking thirty like languages, including Latin. It sounds like a demon whispering in my ear at night weird oh now you're back you're back oh you're back oh you know what i think it is i think this mic might be broken it literally is tapped into hell i'm pretty sure like the screaming souls of hell were didn't that just, sound like, like a bunch of different voices at once yeah yeah it that's what like, I was a saying. Corral like a of voices Ooh. is it okay if i just use this mic because this one is perfect whatever you're doing right now okay um well, also, what's in is local news. I would like to be fear mongered based on my mm, location. Yes. Um, yes. I miss just watching the news and being really scared about my surrounding neighborhood because I have not felt the fear of like a neighborhood that I've lived in for like a really long time. And I was just like, wow, we need to go back to like the 24 seven news cycle, just playing on the TV like all day and night. That's actually um, a good one. Out is excessive self care. Um, it's just not that serious. Really? Like, ex and excessive, like, oh, I, I microblade. I fucking ice roll. Oh, I do that. Like, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Bitch, you're, when you die tomorrow, guess what? You're going to look like shit in that fucking casket because your parents are not going to get makeup by Ariel to come and beat your fucking face. So the plumpness mm -hmm. of your face won't even matter because you're going to look like shit in your casket. So the excessive self care is pointless. Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, being drunk is out for me, which is like opposing Kai's wanting to drink more. Like, I've Alone. never like drank and then been like, oh, I'm so happy I drank last night. Like, that was the best decision I ever made. Um, being drunk is just out. Waiting in lines. Nothing is worth waiting for. Um, wow, I that is a stark contrast from the Enya I knew two years ago. You go to Miami and you become a completely different person because you love lines. I know, but I decided like it's kind of like I'm wasting minutes. I'm never going to get back for something that like is kind of pointless. Like, Welcome what am I club. waiting for? Like, I'm trying to think of what I would wait in line for. And I can't think of a single thing that I'm like, oh, my God, I would love to wait for that. Like, I want it so bad. I'll wait for it. Um, vegetarian and veganism. We will all perish sooner than you realize. Be free. Um, yeah, no, I'm going to start eating like <laughs> fucking rodents and shit. <laughs> Yeah, I want to eat raw meat this year. Like roaches. I bet roaches like in 2058 are going to like be a delicacy. Like they're going <laughs> to be the only thing we can eat because they're the only thing that can survive like the pollution. Is there any nutritional value from a roach though? There's got to be protein. There's got to be protein. They're all Yeah, there has to be something in there. 
Uh, and then um the last two things that are out for 2024 one being travel vloggers i don't give a fuck where you sat in the plane don't take a picture of it just get on the fucking plane in silence and then uh the last thing is limiting your screen time is out um just indulge in your screen time it literally doesn't matter we are a generation of the screen and you are not going to be the first person to break it i don't care how many books you read because when you finish your book reading time you will get on that phone and tell me you read so yeah bed rotting is in like it's always been yeah. in and always will be in um okay i found out that german cockroaches contain about 78 grams of protein per 100 grams dry weight so like Find a hundred grams of cockroaches <laughs> and you can survive. That like, actually sounds like a lot of cockroaches to find though. That's, like but that's also crazy. That means like one cockroach, like one gram of cockroach contains like 0.78. Like 78% of its body is essentially protein. Ew. I just thought of you know what else contains like, protein? Oh my god, what your fucking cum. What were you going to say? <laughs> I was literally going to say protein powder. Like, <laughs> you're weird, bro. Like, literally, what are you on about? You're always on about some, like, do your cum, do your cum shit. Like, oh. I've never said that to you. <laughs> well, um, I think I've also decided that birds are disgusting. Um, Because I've seen two what videos my... that grossed me the fuck out one of them being like the hollow chest part it actually makes me want to fucking kill myself do you know what i'm talking about wait like, autopsies no like somebody moved the feathers of a bird apart and like they had like this like harder like shell casing and it was like where they're like making the noise from it was like a tiktok i saw i'll find it and show it to you it is fucking disgusting and then i saw how birds grow their fucking feathers I know you've been wondering how feathers grow and this is what they look like when they're brand new. It's so creepy. It looks a little bit weird. They look like spines or some sort of horrendous growth coming out of the bird. But these are pin feathers and this is what a brand new baby feather looks like when it comes through the skin. It pierces through the skin covered in this sheath which is made out of keratin, the sort of stuff your nails and hair are made out of. And I am not kidding. Birds are so fucking nasty. And if you have pet birds, something is actually fucking wrong with you. Um, and that's where um, I stand on that. Yeah, no, I'm I'm still there. I have gotten over like birds attacking me constantly. And um I don't think they're out to get me anymore. My <laughs> new fear is drones. Um drones are evil. We need to like eradicate like drones drones are out and not like war drones like personal flying drones i know what you're talking about oh dude i'm trying to find the video of this fucking bird chest and it's so gross but every time i look at bird chest it's like a man like what's happening isn't that um like a term for Pectus, a guy that hasn't it's bulked yet there's it's that and there's pectus carinatum and pectus carinatum or pectus carinatum and pectus excavatum excavatum is when your chest goes in and you've seen the clips of people eating bowls of cereal like out of their like sternum yeah, yeah. spot that's excavatum and then carinatum is um when it goes out like a mountain well i'm never gonna find this video because it's only videos of men's chest but there's a video of someone wait let moving. me see it can you show, can you show me that are you them hairy? Videos of like men's hairy chest? Man chest? No. I like just want to like, see it. Like, because it's none like of them a are hairy. Gross, they're all like gross. shaved down. Okay, actually nasty. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's like, out. Men shaving weird. their body is out. Yeah, men who shave their body kind of freak me out, but like to each mm. their own. I feel like Kai probably shaves his chest. He no, I don't. Me, like, shave your chest vibes. I don't shave my chest. You, you, if you shave your chest, then it grows in. This is the this is what I've heard, is that if you shave your chest and ass, it's really uncomfortable because it gets itchy. Drew, yeah, I shaved sure my ass can... when I was like eighteen before, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, or it was probably when I was seventeen because I remember being in the back. Oh. <laughs> the poltergeist is literally haunting me. I swear to God. Um, but I remember being in the back of, in, in the back of class like this. 
<laughs> Why wouldn't you just use your fucking hand to itch your ass through your pants? Yeah, because you I look putting my hands in my butthole. This is I'm not like saying in your that, butthole. I feel like every like boy has gone through this once they go through puberty and their ass gets all hairy. You shave it with like a razor, and then you're in. Next thing you know, you're like, yeah, you're rubbing your ass against. Dude, the, girls shave like their ass all the time. Yeah. It's like a common thing, like that. Everybody's like, oh my god, my fucking butt itches just because I shaved my ass. Oh, uh, <laughs> see, I don't know stuff like that. How about this? I've been you thinking about that. A million kids come up missing per year. What do y'all think happened to these kids? <laughs> and every time people come up missing, the more and more people come up missing, the more they release more chicken sandwiches and shit. I'm noticing that. <laughs> I literally Dude, like, that will always be the prophetic. best video ever. Yeah, it's like prophetic. It's literally like genius. Like, because it really I does know make you so think so badly if he meant that with like his whole heart, or if he was just like being funny. Because if he meant it. That's crazy. But if he made that as a joke, that is the funniest joke I've ever heard told in <laughs> our like time. Like it is yeah. so good. Um, well, also on the last episode, you talked about the Sephora thing, and I was like, What are you talking about? And I've been seeing all the TikToks about like the rowdy ass fucking annoying children who go into Sephora. So I think my resolution this year is if any Sephora's need somebody to stand at the front door and kick a 10-year-old in the head, I will take the job. You um, can't kick 10-year-olds in the head. Well, Sephora can write into their guidelines that if a 10-year-old crosses that entryway line that I can kick them in the head, then I think I'm I technically so can. I'm so scared of, yeah, like I'm so scared. Of me? Yes. Oh, good. We should have just called the podcast ED Podcast. That's what I was thinking. Because like emergency intercom's like mm -mm. so long. No. And then if we called it ED, it's Enya Drew Podcast. No, no, I don't no. Know yeah, and then we could have had dysfunction. Then we could have had like I love E D for merch. No, I feel like that yeah. wouldn't have gone over. That super that well. is like maybe the worst thing you've ever said. Cause what's well, it's just our initials. No, it's eating disorder. Yeah, because we're eating this order. Like <laughs> <laughs> we're eating the order that was served to us. <laughs> Frozen. <laughs> What do you say? Why am I giving ice cream? <laughs> I'm giving ice cream right now. Um. Well, Kaya, what's your ins and outs? Did you do yours already, Drew? Or I don't have any. I told you how to write them, oh, and then I didn't write them. Okay, I'll do my ins. Um, A twenty four movies. You know when you see that logo, it's gonna be a good ass movie. Okay, that. All right, just keep going. Okay, uh, Matt Rife, goat okay keep going because i this might be is this for your 2023 or 2024 um this is 2024 <laughs> um uh being a male pick me the bell jar oh, is in. give us give it wait kai give us like your best male pick me energy right now he did this, it he's been doing it for the past 36 minutes <laughs> for the past like 20 episodes if you if you have noticed okay um what else is in kai oh the bell jar okay my year of rest and relaxation anything really by joan didion um uh omnipresent surveillance by governments is in guys we're gonna see yes. more of this as time goes on and we're gonna be losing more and more of our privacy rights uh me being the baby of the group is in i think we can all agree that that is in say i'm baby i'm baby <laughs> I'm I'm Dude. literally baby. Oh okay. Gosh. Um 2006 Xbox era lag switches. Oh shit. We like, should do uh, I don't know what that is. Oh it dude, like it was these, like this It was like these electronic yeah. switches that you would connect to your Xbox to like fuck up the internet connection and then you could like headshot people cuz you would like lag around and stuff. It was basically yeah, like a no. It was so it would like shut everyone's internet off for like as long as you wanted and it would lag everybody in the game and you could just go and like sweat and stomp all over the lobby. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Let the, me do I'm gonna do one more in. Um Sprite. Sprite is in, guys. Sprite lemon lime is refreshing, it tastes good, and it's super cheap. Is this an ad read for Sprite that you're like so throwing I in here? I have to drink it. 
كده super good okay i'm gonna do my outs wait you mcdonald's didn't even finish fries it. tasting like electricity <laughs> tastes like tv you didn't static even finish it you didn't even finish it though if it's so good finish it chug it kai finish um, this right and then no. eat a banana <laughs> no i can't eat a banana I... yeah, you should have a bite of a banana take half of the sprite finish the banana is that like a thing it, it's like bad or something no it's no it literally like apparently it, it so like good. cures cancer or something oh i don't know about i didn't know about that okay out sambas they're cooked i think we can all agree that sambas are cooked ketamine therapy is out everyone Period. who did it has severe brain damage including me okay i'm sorry um locking in is out because a lot of people do ketamine Wait, what therapy. locking in locking in oh like like lock in like Gotta lock, lock in real quick locking in yeah. because in your lock in ketamine therapy and now your brain is all melted and you can't you can no longer lock in F uh, federal reserve raising interest rates i think we're done raising interest rates in 2024 inflation is now under control and we're gonna stimulate the economy and we're gonna see equities soar in 2024 so those are my ins and outs Oh, for 2024. Well, I came up with a few um, while we were sitting here. They're not nearly as good as yours, Kai, um, but you had some really great ones. Okay. Um, I have one out, um, and it's fentanyl poisoning. Why are you laughing? Was that ever in? Is like, that, was yeah. that like? But I like, was rooting it, for it. I, oh, okay. You were but rooting for you it. You might be the only one who were, who was like. Oh my god! Like this needs to catch on. Mm -hmm. I think ins and outs is like kind of like oh my god, trends. Oh, well, yeah. Um, well, then fentanyl poisoning <laughs> is in. Like, is that what y'all want me to say? Like, no, no. Man. Like, it's just like why? Like, okay, keep going. <laughs> um, okay. In uh, Lana Del Rey. Okay. <laughs> and being happy. <laughs> um <laughs> are you just gonna smile to be happy or as uh the prophet cameron dallance once said don't just, be depressed just smile just smile you have such um like a creepy pasta smile <laughs> like <laughs> no this is my real smile i don't know if i never learned how to smile or if i have so much buccal fat or so much collagen in my skin that like i can't smile like my teeth like i feel like they're like too far back in my mouth you're so edgar Allan poe like coded like, that's not a good smile like, you're you're real, making real that smile. up that's not your real smile I've this seen, is my like, real i swear to god this is my real smile how do you smile for a photo like this <laughs> no i, I Dude, swear to god look, look at any look picture like, of me smiling you look like you're a cold case that just got solved thanks to the new dna but you're like case has been cold since 1831 no i swear this is how i smile i'm not <laughs> i don't know that's how i smile for a photo i'm like oh kai you smile uh -huh. wait oh. Did you? Oh, <gasps> why did why did she leave? Oh, all right, guys. Looks Main like character. No, no, uh, don't I, get to talk. I didn't even get into my. I didn't <laughs> even get like, into start. It. I feel like I didn't even have a chance. To... My ends are um when friends seem like they need help and that extra judge to keep them going, just ignore it because taking on people's emotions is really hard for yourself. And especially if you're in a good place, you shouldn't be helping other people because they're just going to bring you back down. So if you've mm. gone up and your friends are still behind, you should keep going because if that friend really cared for themselves, they would just catch up. Mm. Um, a big out for me is working with friends so you might see this year that i'm just like distancing myself and like kind of focusing on myself and if you see a podcast where it's just a girl only a girl um and the girl is money should we announce our podcast together kai oh yeah we announce it right now let's do it all right on three 
one, two, three. Money, Angels. bitches, <laughs> video games. Angels. Angels. Well, that's the name. It's called you guys should name your angels. podcast four four four. Oh, it's that's like sick. four four four. Um. Okay. Uh. Would y'all get a tattoo of me if I died? Yes, but not of your face. No. Like, what would your tattoo be? Mm. Oh, would I get another tattoo of you? I guess is the question. Yeah, I don't tell them about the first one. The brand. <laughs> or. Oh, when you branded him, that's not a, that's not really like a friendship tattoo. That's kind of like have an we, ownership. Thing. Have we ever talked about on the podcast how like a week into me knowing Drew, he like oh my God. branded me and like carved something into my skin? No, okay, but it sounds like something he had you do and sign fully an NDA conventional, for. Or it was fully consensual. <laughs> oh, it was super consensual. And, yeah, I, but I wanted the thing it. is. <sighs> No, we haven't talked about it. I don't think we're ready to talk about it because the yeah. way you reacted was borderline depressing. So, and yeah. it got infected, and that's why you can never see the lower half of your body. It was also a QR code, so there was Did a lot spread? of like, detail. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a QR code. Oh, that's what um, I would do. I would get a QR code, and it would be a link to a TikTok of you and me, Drew. Like actually, though, because I think like for you and you, I would probably get a bunny. Aww. Um and for Kai, I haven't really thought about it too much, but probably the Nike logo. Okay, why? <laughs> why the Nike? Big logo? Nike guy. You love Nike. I don't really like Nike that much. I feel like you guys don't even know me. You You're know, always they... wearing Nike. He's I, always wearing Nike. I don't Nike. remember the last time I wore Nike. Aren't the sandy oh. shoes Nike? The ones with sand in them? No, those are e those are ASICs. <laughs> oh. When I saw someone do like <laughs> pick your like it was like pick your favorite emergency intercom moment and the sandy shoe was one of them <laughs> and it was I, I think about that and it's it is crazy how that wasn't scripted in my shoe it was, was not like <laughs> like why was it full of sand had you gone to the beach or like i guess yeah. it's because when you get to that age you're you're just slowly deteriorating i so start I bet to when turn you into dust clothes, at the end of the day it's like you shake it and it's just like little ashes yeah Wait, Kai, i would no, probably I get agree. like one of, i could get the glossier logo I think yeah, that would yeah. be like kind of it's... iconic. But like then you'd yeah. kind of just look like, look like a billboard for Glossier. I don't know if yeah. anybody would be like, oh my God, Kai Newman bootleg Glossier hoodie that he the always wore. The Prius logo. Oh, the... the Prius would be good. What about like a big, like, what about the SpongeBob where he has a bunch of cash and he has like grills to represent? Oh, you me? know what you could do? Oh, yeah. You could get like a dove leaving a cage because you're freed now that he's dead. Yeah, you're like, oh, you're free. Okay, not Jesus. not Kai's free, but Drew's free. What you get me? That's not what I was saying. I was oh, saying okay. that Kai was free, and like this I think I would get a little anemone. Away. Like for Drew, I would get like a little anemone. Like you know the have you ever seen like the Korean tattoo artists who do like little like anemones and like sea creatures and color? Yeah, I would get one of those for you. Oh, well, my in this year is Kai should become a father, but by accident, and it should be big drama. I would actually make a very good dad. Like, I genuinely do believe that. Like, I really. But then do who's going to do the, like, dad. edit the po podcast? The baby. Like, think about us. <laughs> the a baby. Kai. A baby's already editing the podcast. So, okay. Hey, you could teach a baby how to edit it. Okay. Last yeah. thing I need to talk about something that was freaking me the fuck out is food eating competitions what like why did we let that happen in society and also <laughs> food eating competition like vloggers who just go around to random restaurants and set up the camera and eat food like have you watched the way they eat food it is yes. genuinely so fucking scary they're like scarfing it down and there's I this think... one girl who's buff as fuck who eats hella mm. food Okay, but Matt Stone, I think it's Matt Stone, Matt Stoney. He's like a YouTuber that eats. Oh, the for guy, yeah, yeah. He's go. He's like a in Kobayashi when he would eat all the hot dogs really quick, and then but, the cheater. There was like a big cheating scandal. Like, oh, I kept up with the food eating contest. How do you even cheat? Like, because like you would stuff like someone stuffed a bunch of like the hot dog bread inside of their water cup so they were just eating the hot dogs oh. hot dogs and then like he won and then they watched the footage back after they like crowned him champ and they were like oh wait like he cheated and it was like a big thing in the food eating world um but yeah kobayashi's the goat 
he will always be my go. Matt like, Stone does it in his car, right? Matt Stoney. Like he uh, eats No, he's like a YouTuber. He's been doing it on YouTube for I'm, like the last I think I might be thinking of somebody else because I remember there was like an OG YouTuber who used to just like eat a bunch of food in his car, like a shit ton of food. Um, hmm. but I might be thinking of someone else. But like it is so weird. And then there's always like this one girl I was watching. There's always an audience that gathers around her and like they watch her and like cheer her on. Is she on like, TikTok? Yeah. It's yeah, like this I've stumbled white upon girl. her before. Yeah. It, it was genuinely freaking me out. Like I was gonna say there's this dude that I've been keeping up with, and I was telling you about him um like a few weeks ago, how he had like like right before we left, like there there were people that just like genuinely hate him for absolutely no reason. Um and he would like uh he he would go to restaurants and people would like follow him around the country and like watch him eat while he's live on TikTok and that's like his whole thing and he Imagine just being eats a groupie for, free. for like a food eater yeah uh, that's that's another level of like well okay let's be honest like since I am eating so often like technically emergency intercom fans are like watching me every time they watch me they watch me eat and devour the competition i think you eat all the time drew i think you always look amazing can you put me back <laughs> guy i don't know how to make you come back <laughs> Where did Drew go? Drew's camera just went black. He didn't even like yeah, turn off his just, What the hell? Why is my camera gone? It's whenever <laughs> you move. It's whenever you move. Uh, Drew? I'm why are the lights off? Uh, oh, I don't know. The lights just went off, but I found a flashlight that has a black light. <laughs> and I was like, oh, like, look, like, oh, no, come on my hands. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know if cool. that's that funny. Like, it would make it, it makes sense that they're, oh, what was that? Shine on your face again? Why? Because we can't see. Oh, whoa. <laughs> True, there's like what? There's like a ton of cum on your face. It's like a lot. Well, I can't even see. What are you talking about? What do you no, mean? There's, it's all, it's, it's like all, all over. over your face. Why would you again. wash your face? <laughs> I gotta go. Oh. Are you going to wash your face at least or just like leave it on? Are you going to uh, shut the fuck up or something? There's Crazy, just a bunch you got of... so much cum on your face. There's just like a ton Ooh. of cum all over you. Okay, and I get play. You're probably jealous. Like, oh, you wish. Like, it's basically like slugging. Like, it's like, you ever heard of slugging? What? when you? That is of... so gross. <laughs> what do you do when it dries? Just peel it off like Elmer's glue on my palm and my hand. Like, what Drew, are you why about? would Ew. you not... Clean the cum off of your face before the I podcast. literally just said it's good for my skin. Drew, how Where'd often? Where'd you get that information? How often is your face covered in cum when we shoot these videos? Literally every single time. Do you like have to? Is that your like pre-show remedy? No, it's just it's on all day every day. Have you ever noticed why I don't go out to parties as much anymore? Because of this exact conversation would be happening. Oh, because I, <laughs> God forbid, there's a black light. Like, <laughs> guy who can't go to parties because everybody is yeah. gonna know he has come all over his face and seen. <laughs> Guys, I wanted to make sure because it's kind of looking very real. <laughs> I don't know if anybody would have believed you were just sitting in your sister's house with cum all over your face. But this does feel really nice. All right. Well, should we get into media? Yes. It's a bunch of va Vaseline. I literally am <laughs> slugging right now. Um. Well, I watched Beef and it was fucking awesome. I watched all every episode in like seven hours and it was freaking lit and it was so good that she called me she yeah. literally called me and was like drew you have to watch this show yeah it was really fucking good and what movie did i watch um i watched the liberals ruined everything oh the liberals ruined christmas it's this documentary wait is that real no um no but i kind of talked about it 
Or what else did you watch in it? Sorry. Uh, I was going to say I watched Saltburn and I didn't Salt like it Bay. that much. Damn. You're so different. I know. That's what I feel like. Both I feel, you and Kai are so different. I feel really annoying because also the only people in my life who didn't <laughs> like it are like straight men who were like, hmm. Me. And that's exactly I how texted, I felt about I it. I texted Drew. I was like, I was so angry. I was like, no. I know. It, like, okay, but imagine if it was two girls. That would be oh! fucking lit. <laughs> With boobs bouncing. <laughs> they would have been talked about more. Blue no, literally, that's what color. they... The <laughs> the girl version of Saltburn is Handmaiden. And that's oh. a good fucking movie. That movie is fucking lit. I still haven't seen Salt Bay. And I don't know if I ever will see Salt Bay. Just because um, everyone it's is telling me to go... Oh, is it really? Yeah, that's where I watched it. Oh, I will shit. Say, maybe I'll watch it. Barry Keegan is the main actor, right? Yeah, he is. He's ate. good as fuck. He was amazing. I saw I think... something that he jumped through, like, I think he had, like, 20 different foster families or something. This could be misinformation, but, like, he had, like, 20 different foster families and then, like, had just, like, a really, really rough upbringing. Is, is that when he got Killing of a Sacred Deer? Is that what was that his first big one? I think that was, like, his first big role. I will say everybody in it, like their acting was on 10. I just like didn't, I didn't like the ending. Like, I don't know. I, I just was like, okay, like there's so many shows and movies that have a take on like the class divide. And that's just like not my best take on it. Like that's not my favorite take on it. It was a good movie, but I was just like, by the end I was like, Okay, wasn't the take that like the middle class guy is the bad guy and the rich one percenters are like the good ones? Isn't that no? Wasn't it like middle class people are liars? Like I walked out of that movie being like, oh, I guess the middle class. I walked out of that movie being like, oh, bisexual people are evil. (laughs) (laughs) That was like the start of by erasure. I was like, oh, okay. Um. Okay. So he revealed that he lived in 13 different foster homes um every family was good to him as a kid you don't know what's happening you get attached and then boom let's move over here he told ireland's the late show um he remained with his biological brother brother um the entire time he lived with various families he uh was doing impressions a bunch for print calls and stuff then he uh landed his first role in 2011 um for a crime drama between the canals um and apparently he called the director every single day until for weeks um until he cast him um but yeah so Damn, he that's was, a crazy did, come up story yeah so he did bounce around foster homes which is like that that's like next level shit like it's super cool he has the most World War II face. Yeah, for real. Yeah, no, literally. He looks like he should only be playing in movies set in, like, 1841. He would have killed Common C. He would have bodied that role. Um, I haven't seen it. I don't think I've seen anything with him ever, maybe. Or no, I, his face is familiar. I've seen him around in something. Yeah. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? Um, the movie that I watched, I talked about it briefly that where I was just like, damn, dude, like that's a goddamn movie was, um, poor things. Like, hi, have you seen it yet? Dude? I thought poor things was so fucking good. I was it not it. like incredible? Like it was so good. I, I, I've been feeling so jaded cause I'll keep on watching new movies and just be like, no, that was mid. And then I'm just like, yeah. oh, I guess I'm the asshole because I've said this about like the last eight movies and then i saw that and i was like i don't know i was just really blown away by it it kind of reminded me of like the pan's labyrinth era of movies yes where, like, exactly there was so much attention to detail the story it was, really was good. so weird the set design was like fucking incredible like the, i will say like the first 20 minutes of the movie i was like oh no like oh my god like no like please don't do that. Like, this is crazy. And then, I, and then after like the story developed and the plot developed a little bit, I was like, Oh word, this is what this movie is about. Like, 
holy shit and i don't want to spoil anything for anybody who hasn't seen it because apparently no one's seen it because it's not doing very well in the box office but like please go watch that movie and like maybe i just have like man brain syndrome where everybody was like barbie's so good like because blah 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 like maybe that's the same case but like i feel like the subject matter in this and the way it was like um spoken about was like very nuanced and like wasn't like hitting the i don't know like it wasn't like i don't know it was just good also like emma stone boobs and vagina i think that's probably why we like it honestly if i'm gonna yeah. she should, wait wait wait, wait. Yeah. does she show her boobs and vagina because i need to go see it <clears throat> I so. Unironically, I don't know if it's really hers, but like there is a bunch of S in that movie. And that's when it was like really funny to me at points was like when S was happening, like it wasn't like oh, like sex, like it was like genuinely funny, like times to be doing S. I don't know. Yeah. It was great. It was great. Okay. So but, I need to see it. Yeah. Then the last thing is fucking Grey's Anatomy. Oh, oh my, god. my god i love gray's anatomy and i don't know why none of y'all told me that this show was perfectly engineered and made for me but like it's legitimately like the best show i've ever seen to me like everything that happens in that show like it's horrible like duh like it's not good but like it is so good like i can't i don't know how to describe it like i need to start it, it. It's like medical and like love shit. And like, it's all so like crosses or should cross your suspension of disbelief, but it doesn't. And like a lot of like the medical things that happen in it, you're like, girl, come on. Like that shit did not happen. That person did not have toxic blood and it just killed like 30 <laughs> hospital staff because they did surgery on them. And then you look oh, it up there, and there is a real I case. I was going to say, yeah, there happening. is a case of that happening with that yeah. woman who had like meth or something in her system. Yeah, and it like, yeah, it, it, there's just like a bunch of medical cases that are really cool. And then there's just like a bunch of love stories. And like, also, like, I can't tell if I'm just like in love with every one of the cast members because they're all like so hot or maybe they're not. And I'm literally just tripping. But like some of the acting is like really, really like amazing. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure some really good like actors walked away from that. Like, um, yeah, like some of the main cast are now like, really good actors huge 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 actors. do i look good because one of my ends this year or resolutions is active listening and i'm thinking like oh yeah, yeah you've been good you've been, been good i mean that's a little intense though it's a little bit like... <laughs> don't do that <laughs> why don't do that i just have a sniffle Scary. but i'm gonna like drew have they look interest? like um oh, wendy williams <laughs> when you do that drew oh, have they introduced uh mcsteamy yet Oh duh! Like that's is he one of the originals? Or I thought that he he was He's like season two. Yeah, yeah, I remember when he. Well, he him. has he. I think he was introduced in season one, but he's big season two guy and season three guy. Um, but he's just as fine. It's um Jacob Lordy's dad in Euphoria. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Or I was telling Anya, but she's not actively listening. Sorry, guys. By the time you watch this, my Mew Mew post will be up, but I have to post for Mew Mew right now. So I've been looking down at my phone to see if they approve of me. Such an insane life. Like, so insane. Um, But, guys, yeah, go like my IG fine post. As fuck. Yeah, go like that shit right now. Guys, go like, go like right my now. IG post. Um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna do media so we could get off because I literally have to fig finger this out. Okay. Crazy World by King Ghidorah, Give Me Love by George Harrison, Walking Across the Field by Steve Heights, and Cure for Pain by Morphine, and Drop Top by Anicia. That's my fucking media of the fucking week. Oh, oh. <sighs> Mine is intro, Lawrence Guy, Toy, Visible Clocks. Actually, um, instead of reading all these songs off, go listen to F-R-K-W-Y-S, Volume 15, Serenitatum, 
um this whole album is insane like weird esoteric music but like toy toi visible cloaks is like crazy um but it's like a collaborative album between three like weird ass musicians and they make just so weird like such good music all right guys <laughs> but okay great job on the episode today guys peace and love good job kai you killed it thanks um bye Yeah,